Hey guys, Crystal here with Sea Light Candles and Soaps, and I am testing some things today. I'm going to be testing two things. I'm going to be testing a fragrance oil that I got on a closeout sale through um, a company online, and there wasn't any information about it except that it was skin safe. So I have no idea if it has any vanilla in it or if it accelerates or anything like that. So we're just doing a really small little batch, a little two, two and a half pound batch to test both the fragrance and the mica that I just got. Um, the orange mica I got from uh, Nature Soap, um, the Mango Tango, when it when I take it out of the mold after 24 hours it looks kind of it morphs into like a see-through burnt orange Whoa. and Carrie over at Nurture Soap she was so awesome she sent me two different oranges um, some samples to test in my batch to see if um, to, which one is better she sent me the orange neon and then the orange vibrance mica so we're testing two different things today not just the fragrance and then I'm testing the mica so the only two colors we're gonna have we're gonna have a orange and a white <coughs> oh my um, lye my aloe my goat's milk my oatmeal my Kaylin clay is already in here <coughs> going to go ahead and put my cream in now and we're going to go ahead and add the fragrance I am hoping that there, the fragrance itself is pretty dark so I'm hoping that it doesn't have any vanilla in it I'm not a hundred percent sure um, but the fragrance itself is like a really dark yellow so but it smells awesome. It smells absolutely delightful. And it is a tropical scent. so far no acceleration no rising that's good let me get my mica then I have it in this little bag I'll be testing the neon mica later but right now I want to test this orange vibrance mica and this is what it looks like And I know about how much I need, so I want to pour this off. There's my orange, and this should be, let me see here, this should be um, the exact same amount, it might be, yeah, it's the exact same amount. I just put it in this little work container because it's easier for me to blend or else I would have just kept it in my bowl the white portion anyway Mommy. Oh, baby. I know. I love you too okay I hurt. get down please let's go ahead and get this orange into it I'm not real sure how much I'm going to need so I'm going to try to get about a teaspoon in because I know orange mica is kind of hard to pigment or it's kind of hard to color mm. alright let's do the white first and then we'll get the orange 
get Melina, get back. <laughs> So far, the fragrance is actually working beautifully. That looks good. Look how pretty the orange is, though. I hope it stays like this. Um, when she sent them to me, I told her I would test both of them and then decide which one I want. And I'm hoping that this all goes well and the orange comes out better than the Mango Tango did. I absolutely love all of Nurture's um, um, colorants. Except for the orange I got, which was the Mango Tango. It just for some reason showed up this burnt see-through kind of orange. So hopefully this uh, orange um, vibrance will actually show up a little bit better in my soap. I'm hoping either the neon or this one. I'm hoping one of them works. All right, this fragrance smells awesome, you guys. I hope it does not turn on me. I'm praying and hoping it doesn't turn because it smells so gosh darn good. All right, let's start pouring, shall we? A little bit of white on the bottom. A bit orange on And it's nice and fluid. That is so pretty. It's not even trying to thicken up oh, on me, that so that's so good. Pretty. That is so pretty. Get back, Elena, please. That is I'm, so Mommy's pretty. trying to do this, so I don't want you to get near it. Well, she is home that my other kids went back to school today after two weeks of being out from the snow but my youngest doesn't go back until Monday so she's home with me today and I'm just keeping this as a drop swirl because it's so fluid that is so pretty mom that is so pretty. And I'm trying to guesstimate about how much this mold will take. The very first time I used it, I didn't make enough. The last time I used it, I made too much. So, I'm trying to find my happy medium with this mold here. And so far, I haven't found it because this much is not filling up the mold. I still got about a good, I don't know, quarter of an inch to the top. So this amount doesn't fill it up, but I know if I go not even two ounces more, it'll be too much. So I'm guessing one more ounce and it would be fine. So I know the next time I use this mold about how much to use now because I've made too much and then I made too little. So I wanted to get do it right in the middle. And I'm just going to make lines down here for the top. Thank you, baby. There's a little bit of orange over there. Yeah, I'm going to use it. Hold on. I do like, I do like orange. I got to do this with my right hand. I can't do this with my left. Oh, that is so pretty. Mom, it smells good. I don't smell it. You've already smelled it. Alright, that's about all of the Maybe white. Perfume. You need perfume more <coughs> Mom, I still love you. Oh, I love you too, baby. I'm trying to do this to where I can do like a little swirl on top. Your, this hand hurts. No, baby, my hand don't hurt. You do this. Here again. 
this crap. I will. Hold on. She, she always hands me my skewer, so she's excited about that. She's mommy's little helper. Alright, now I'm going to try to do the top here. I didn't have much to work with, so I don't really have much on the top. What is that? Come out. You're not supposed to be either. What is that? So I know now about how much this mold takes. I need about another ounce and that it'll be full. So Here is what it looks like. And I'm not going to tell you the name of the fragrance because if it doesn't turn and if it does good, then I'm going to be making a bigger soap out of it. And I ordered a whole 16 ounces of it. I got it on sale. It was on a closeout and it smells absolutely yeah. fabulous. Mommy. So I was happy about that. Let me put some alcohol on it, and I will put it to bed. Right, I see you will put it to bed. All right, get down, please. I'm hoping that this orange vibrance mocha will be vivid, and it, you know, stays true to its color because I need an orange that I can use because I've not really been using orange because I don't have that much left of my other pigment. So I'm hoping that one of these micas will do good. But anyway, the cutting video will be right behind this one, guys. Um, I've got some other soaps I have in mind to do. And I've got two more that's in my mold that's about ready to come out. So uh, stay tuned for the cutting video. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Crystal here, and I'm back. We are back to cut my test soap. This is how it turned out. I was testing a fragrance and I was testing a mica. This is the uh, orange vibrance mica from Nurture Soap. And um, the mica I got, the orange mica I got from them was the Mango Tango. And it morphs bad. It turns into this like burnt see-through orange after it gets done after you take it out of the mold so i um i explained all this in my video but uh, i called carrie over at, uh, new, at nurture soap and she sent me um the orange vibrance and then the orange neon the orange neon is still in the mold but this one's the orange vibrance it has turned into a peachy color it's it didn't stay true to its bright orange color so it's kind of dulled down to like a peach color um i'm going to go ahead and cut it open and see if we got any discoloration or anything like that and so far i the fragrance oil has, hasn't discolored or anything so i'm happy about that so it means it doesn't have any vanilla content in it oh that's pretty so I was testing both things, both the fragrance oil and the mica, and the fragrance oil worked beautifully. It did not accelerate, it did not rise or anything like that. It stayed nice and fluid, as you guys seen just minutes ago. It's been days for me, but it's only been seconds or minutes for you guys. But it's turned out to be this wispy... Um, swirl in the soap and I really like that look at that one take it up close isn't that pretty I love the way that turned out and I mean even though it didn't stay true to its orange color I still kind of like the peachy color of it um I'm getting ready to take my other test soap out of the mold the other one I did was the orange neon pigment no, not pigment, mica. I keep wanting to call my mica's pigments for some reason. Ooh, that's pretty. See that one? But, um... So, I'm not completely happy with this mica because it didn't stay true to its orange. But, I kind of like the soft, you know, the soft peachy color it turned to. So... Alright guys, now that I know that fragrance oil isn't going to accelerate on me or it doesn't have any vanilla in it, I'm going to go ahead and make a bigger batch of it and 
and my other test soap is in my silicone mold I'm getting ready to take it out and I've got one more I need to cut so if you like this video please do subscribe and hit the like button and of course comment love to hear your guys's comments I will comment back to you but until next time guys bye bye